Now, spotting a meteor is rare enough, even more so during broad daylight. So what are the chances of it happening on the same day, almost in the same place, 23 years later? You will have seen it by now, the fireball that lit up skies over the lower North Island today, creating a dazzling daytime spectacle from Wellington to Palmerston North. So imagine our surprise when we dug through our archives today and stumbled across this report from 3 News on July 7, 1999. Reports of today's event have come from as far north as Auckland down to Harihari on the west coast. Experts say the fact it was seen during the day and over such a wide area must have meant it was a huge meteor shower. For more on this, let's bring in astronomy educator Josh Auraki from Stardome. Kia ora Josh, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Can you break down exactly what we saw in the sky today? Yeah, kia ora Ingrid. Um, so yeah, this was a meteor that we saw today and a daytime meteor, which is a pretty exciting thing. Um, so these are basically space rocks um, that typically the leftovers of the solar system flying through space. There's millions of them. Um, and occasionally they do pass the orbit of Earth. And that's, you know, if they do fall into our atmosphere, um, most of them burn up pretty harmlessly. The larger ones, um, they kind of do make it through the atmosphere. Um, and occasionally we get what we call fireballs, which is what we saw today. Um, so these are pretty sizable meteors. They don't happen very often. So it's pretty rare to see this in the daytime. Um, and it's e even rare, I think, to also capture it on camera. Yeah. So when you talk about sizable, how, how big are we talking? Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to say. The thing with these meteors is, you know, they explode and they fall somewhere and we've got to go find them. So... Um, it would be really hard to say the exact size. Um, it could be something the size of, you know, a basketball. It could be um, maybe a metre or two across, which would be pretty sizable. Yeah. Um, but it's really hard to say because often with these fireball events, the actual explosion can sometimes vaporise the whole thing. So there might be no trace of it. Um, it may have fallen to the ground, but, yeah, we'll have to kind of see where it went. The search is on, <laughs> isn't it? So how yes. rare, you say this happens occasionally, how rare is it for it to happen in broad daylight and, and with this rumbling sound, which is pretty loud? by all accounts. Yeah, I, honestly, I think it's quite exciting. Um, the thing about meteors is it's not rare per se for a meteor. I mean, we estimate that about 100 tonnes of space debris falls to the Earth every day. Um, but the rarity is actually seeing it. You know, most of the Earth is oceans, uninhabited. Um, and it also has to be bright enough. So people often see this at night time when it's really dark, the little small, you know, shooting stars. Um, but to see it in broad daylight, it had to be pretty sizable. Um, you had to be in the right place, at the right location, looking in the right direction. So um, it's a pretty rare event. Um, and quite exciting, I think, especially to get that sonic boom. I think a lot of people were quite rattled, um, pun intended. <laughs> um, should we? Is it anything to be scared about? These things flying through the air and plummeting to earth. Um, not per se. I mean, these things are really rare. Um, we, we do get some really large meteors. There was an event um, over Siberia in 2013, something really similar. It was a meteor, we think, about 30 metres, um, and that exploded in the sky um, over the city of Chelyabinsk, and that shockwave um, was much bigger than the one we saw today. It actually caused damage on the ground and injured people. Um, but such events are really rare. We don't expect them to happen very often, maybe once every 100 years. Um, and, you know, much, much bigger asteroids, like, you know, the ones that wiped out the dinosaurs. Um, we know most of those ones and we track them. So there's, okay. there's definitely okay. nothing that's, to worry. That's reassuring. <laughs> now, something else, another yeah. theory I wanted to put to you. Uh, we mentioned there was another fireball around the same place on July 7, the same day back in 1999. Don't want to read too much into this, but should we book you in again for the 7th of July 2045? <laughs> Can we expect another well, one? I'll check my calendar and see if I'm free. But, um, yeah, just I've really random coincidence, I think. But, um, yeah, it's very strange for that to be happening on the same day all those years ago. Yeah, uh, but, yeah, you might, you might have to ask an astrologer on that one. OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK, thanks so much for your time tonight, Josh. No worries. Kia ora.